Hi guys, welcome to this new tutorial about the vegetation add-on for Blender. Let's install it right now. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-on and select Install. Find the zip file add-on and click on Install. After the installation, check the add-on list. Scroll down the menu and let's discover the new options of the vegetation add-on. Select the place where you want the 3D assets to be located. Then click on Install Pack and go gather the zip files provided with the add-on. This may take some time, have a coffee while waiting. Once the first asset volume is installed, you can install the second one. On this page, you can directly access our social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, our website and our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow us to be aware of the latest news. Click on Save Preferences and close the window. Open the N panel with the N key on your keyboard. Look for the B Production tab. From now on, the B Production add-ons will be in one tab. The Vegetation panel is there. Let's look at the various options. The drop-down menu allows you to select the asset category. By clicking on the thumbnail, you can see the collection of assets available. It is easy to overview a preview of the seasons by clicking on one of the four buttons. You can import your 3D asset in the center of your scene or on your 3D cursor location. When importing an asset, you can click on Append to import the mesh and textures in your blend. But in this case, let's click on Link Asset. This creates a link between your asset database and your blend file. Your blend will be much lighter that way. It is important to underline that in link mode, editing the mesh is not possible. You have to click on Make Editable to make the asset editable. The Randomize function allows you to change the size and orientation of the object. The Snap Tree to Ground button allows you to place your asset on a surface. Let's now discover the animation options. Let's choose a small tree and add it to our scene. In the animation settings, we can choose from three presets. Light Breeze, Medium Wind and Strong Wind. Let's choose Medium Wind and press the spacebar to start the animation. It is possible to animate the trunk and also the leaves by checking the checkboxes. Thanks to the various parameters, you can customize the power or speed of the wind. For the leaves, you can change the scale of the displacement texture or the wind speed and power. When you duplicate a tree with Shift plus D, an animation problem will appear. Select the new tree and click on Retarget Animation at the bottom of the panel to fix the problem. In winter, the leaves appear in the viewport. But when you switch to render mode, the leaves completely disappear. There may be a problem when using the cycles render. You can see black squares in the image. The leaves become transparent and do not allow the bounces of light to pass sufficiently. You must increase the value of transparency in the cycles parameters. Let's do a 3D rendering again. The problem is solved, but this impacts the rendering time. 8 seconds in this example. Another trick is to switch to edit mode on the tree and remove the leaves. Select the leaf shader and select the associated faces, then delete them. Remove the shader leaf. Now reset the default value of transparency. Let's restart a render. Four seconds of computing time instead of eight. Enjoy!